Now that is probably one of the best scenes in the entire game, really. Uh, mainly because it's just so out of nowhere, you know what I mean? Charlie just gets poisoned, or, um, yeah, I guess poisoned would be the, the correct term there. And, you know, he's, like, going all crazy and shit, and Charlie's a big guy, he's a tough guy, so, yeah, he's uh, probably a bit stronger than Drake, so it's, uh, it's a bit of a challenge. This thing should spin, doesn't it? This is more than just a crypt. Yeah, the whole damn room looks like some kind of ancient device. And I think, actually, down on this level here is a treasure somewhere, yeah, I think. Oh, bollocks. We need to figure out how to get it spinning. Look at these channels. It looks like they were meant for water. Now, the way to do this is, of course, to ignore everything down here for now and go straight upstairs. Of course, Triangle did come up there, but that's just to light the way. However, we already have a torch, so why would we bother doing that? And of course, you can jump through the flail. Oh, I love doing that. What we're going to do it is light these things here, which, uh, weirdly enough, still has the... Um, like the the logs still in them, the bits of wood and stuff. Possibly this is charcoal. I'm not exactly sure, but it does look like wood to me. Which um, burnt wood is charcoal, so possibly I have no idea. But um, you know, you like these. And weirdly enough, you never put them back out again. Hmm. Last one. Incredible. The beams don't line up with anything. Though. Let's keep looking. So what we're going to do now is go through this little gap here, this little um, area, which uh, should be gated off, but it's not very interesting. Not exactly sure who would leave that gate open, but thankfully they did, and thus we can go through. Is that the water? I'm not sure. Please tell me that you see them too. I, uh, I see them. Whatever you do, don't let them touch you. Really? Just stay in the firelight. What are you doing? You should be able to make it over that brazier if I run for it. You won't. I'll clear the way for you once I get there. If you get there, you're mental. We have to get the water flowing. You have a better idea? If you throw the torch down there, you might be able to light the brazier. Thanks, Charlie. I was literally just about to explain that. So what you can do is uh, throw the torch, of course, like you're throwing, throwing a grenade. There we go. And you let go of L2, and there you go. So what you can do is also just jump with it like that, and uh, land and pick up a new torch. The torches do respawn, conveniently enough, um, and you do have to throw this up there, like so. Got to make it nice and accurate, though. And there we go. That was a good throw. Now over here on these chains, um, they move in a 360 direction, which means, uh, you know, you could basically make them move wherever you want. So like this, as you can see, I'm making it move wherever I desire. You've got to be very careful with these because sometimes they uh, they fling you off, I won't say in a random direction, but they'll fling you off to the side rather than where you actually want to go. Now, uh, I do believe I might have missed a treasure around here somewhere, but that's okay. Uh, we're not going for the treasures, of course. If I, if I know where they are, I'll go for them, as we know. Anyway, what I like to do usually is throw the torch and then, um, of course, just... Oh, come on, I pressed X there, you twatus. Ah, why is it swinging so slow? No idea. But what I like to do usually is throw the torch and jump with the torch, because usually I'm fairly confident I've landed it like this. Look, you throw it and then you jump with it like that. It just seems so epic. No idea. I just like doing that. And, of course, I like to pick up the torch as well, carry it around with me. You don't need to do this, but it just looks cool. You know, I like the lighting effects, as I've mentioned before. I had a little nerdgasm earlier. It was good though. All right, get on the other crank. Help me open it. Let's give it a go. There we go. Now there is actually a treasure up here. Yes, of course there is. Ah. Tell me we have to swim across. What's the matter, Charlie? Oh, kitty don't like getting wet. I hate getting wet. Don't be such a sissy. Right, so I believe this, um, oh, let's do a dive. There we go. You don't get to do a dive very often. When you do, it's really, really interesting. Now, um, I don't believe we can actually get this treasure because I, I kind of, maybe we can, maybe I fucked up a little bit. What you're going to do is shoot it and then go down as soon as you can or shoot it when you're here and then collect it. So there you go. That's how you get this one. Of course, I believe I cocked it up 
Um, maybe there's a way to get it, but I don't exactly think there is, to be honest. Um, I don't think we can go deep enough. That's okay, though, like I say. We're not going for the treasure. It's not a 100% run. It's a crushing run, so you don't think I have enough shit going off. I'm dying left, right, and center. I'm getting shot at constantly. I can die in three bullets and treasures. You know what I mean? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> yeah, so now what we're going to do is do the exact same thing. And this over here, right. uh, the globe, a little bit of a trick to it. I'll show you when we get there. It worked. It started to spin. Should be able to rotate the globe now. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey, it looks like those light projections might line up with the land masses. Go on, give it a spin. Okay, so the trick here is to actually look for the uh, the locations. Oh my god, what a trick. That's so good, right? <laughs> but the trick is, as you can see, there's like a little star there. See that? That little star? Which of course means uh, you got to rotate it in such a way that it fits in with something else. Such as this over here, like that. We've pretty much already done it if we can get this um, onto the right location. Of course, I have to spin it a bit more. It's very tricky to do. Oh, come on. To the left. Oh, come on. Turn to the left. You bint. Ah. Oh. This is so tricky sometimes. There we go. And once you get close enough, it does like magnetize the right location. Very nice. Nice job, kid. You did it. Incredible. That's gotta be the entrance to the inner crypts. Come on. And there we go. Fantastic. So now what we're gonna do is climb back up. Remember where we set those things on fire? Of course, I wanna mention though, you might be able to see it in here. It's a bit more prominent in uh, darker areas. Um, there's always been an outline on characters in the Uncharted series. I don't really know why that is. It's like a little white outline. I think on video you'll be able to see it a lot better than I can. But usually, I mean, right here it's quite prominent for me. But there's always like a little white outline, like a little ghost around them. Hmm. That's always existed in every Uncharted game. Really strange. Maybe it's just the engine. Hmm. Possibly. All right, we're looking for a knight's tomb, just like we found in France. Now, if my hunch is right, they'll be buried with the other half of our amulet. Is that it? Yeah, just like the one in France. Amazing. Yeah, brilliant. Let's get it open. There it is. What did I tell you? Let's see the other half. Yeah, about that, uh... Talbot has it. What? I, yeah, I told you how he ambushed us at the chateau. That's when he took it. Well, why did we even bother then? Hold on. Give me a little credit. Here. There. You see? <laughs> and with the inscription complete, we know exactly where to go in Yemen. Thank you very much. Nicely done. Yeah, yeah. All the same. I think I'll hold on to this one. Get the hell out of here. Keep looking. They have to be here Shit. somewhere. Shit. They must have followed us. We better hope there's another way out of here. Now, do correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure that if you're knighted, then you lose your knighthood when you die, and therefore you can't bury a knight. Maybe it means a knight in the sense that that's their role. They're like a soldier and they became a knight, as it were, rather than being knighted. You know what I mean? So they become like sir. Although, didn't they say he was a sir? So, but as far as I know, once you die, you lose your knighthood. But you're still referred to as sir in modern day. So, huh. You know what I mean? You can't actually bury a knight because you lose knighthood on death. Uh, then again, the rules might have been different back then, I'm not exactly sure, but if you do know any historians out there, because of course Uncharted doesn't attract historians, I'm sure, any historians out there, please let me know, because oh, I'm interested to know if that's here. actually the case. So you see that little beam of light over there? A little beam of light coming out of that thing there? Of course, that's what we have to go through. Hey, come here. Yeah, yeah, I can feel the breeze. Awesome. Please be an outside wall. It's got some give. Charlie, help me with this. Yeah. 
Guys, we don't have much time. Go on, go! Yes. Thanks very much, I'll take that. Drop your weapons. Yeah, I don't think so. Well then, what a dilemma. We seem to be equally matched. Until the rest of my men show up, that is. We can wait. Oh no. Guys? Charlie? Oh god damn it. Now oh, that changes things a bit, doesn't it? Now drop your guns. Why don't you go for Carter, shoot him? No. Wait. Just stop. Okay? Better, isn't it? Shoot him. You son of a bitch. Cutter, pull the trigger. My pleasure. Run! Head for the tower! Go, go! Shit! I'm up. Run! Why on earth? Fuck your guns. You might have given us a wink or something. Make it. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? Charlie! What the hell? <laughs> you didn't get very far, did you? Hand it over. Piss off. There's nothing we can do, kid. Jesus, this is unbearable. Oh. Uh. Oh, Carter. I had such high hopes for you. <laughs> yeah, right. It's true. You had potential. Now, well, it's funny how things work out, isn't it? You betray my trust, and now we find ourselves here. As if it were in the cards all along. Just my leg. Don't touch it! It's broken! I know it's broken. Just easy does it, mate. Hang on. Nate, look at this. Oh, what the hell? This way! Okay, we can't stay here. Just leave me the gun. I'll kill those bastards. No way. We're getting you out of here. Come on, get up. I got him. You, got him? you cover us. Okay. Okay, I gotta do this really quick. Go down here real quick and press square. Jump on this guy, kill him, take his gun, because we don't have any weapons right now. So I gotta do this very, very fast. Oh my god, that's what I was talking about. Remember this situation? We were here beforehand. That's what I was talking about earlier on. You gotta do that very, very quickly. Oh, I did it though. Thank god for that. There's gonna be some guys with shields. This is the first introduction of shield enemies within Uncharted 3. Christ, I'm getting molested here. Crouch down, crouch down. Ugh, hopefully that lands on the shield guy. Of course, it kind of did. Gotta just pop him a few. There we go, his shield is gone now. Thank God for that. There's actually another shield guy coming through, so we need to be very careful of that guy. We're gonna use these guys down here for now. We're gonna use these guys because they have grenades, okay? And the grenade guys will, um... Oh, oh, come on, there we go. Got myself a grenade. We're gonna use these guys for grenades because we do actually need to use a grenade to kill the shield guy. Uh, the shield guy can sometimes be a bit of a prick. And, um... Yeah, it's very, very annoying. So there we go. Thank you for the extra grenade. Much appreciated. That's definitely done him in now. And over here, of course, take him out. 
Um, yeah, he's dead. Good. And uh, there should be another guy in here somewhere. Um, oh, that's actually behind the wall there. I can't do anything about that one. There should be another guy in this little building here. Which, uh, I don't think he's spawned yet. Um, but we can trigger his spawn. Shields in crushing mode, uh, I wouldn't advise it personally. They're not very good, if I'm going to be honest. Because, um, generally, you just get walloped. Of course, you want to go in and then roll out quickly. And, uh, I think I made them spawn. Did I make them spawn? Um... Possibly I need to go through the drawbridge itself. Of course, I want a micro here because it's a bit faster. Um, of course, more McNiddies. Go in and then roll out because that's when they um, spawn through like that. Of course, we need to get behind our team and then hide behind here. Jesus Christ. That's what we need to be careful of. You see these people? Yeah, be very careful of this. Um, what's going on here? Oh, of course, yeah. Um, okay, great. We're taking a bit of his armor off. Which armor off. There we go. Which is good. If I can speak English, that'd be even better. There we go. His helmet's off now. All I've got to do now is shoot him in the face. And there we go, wait for him to make his shot. I can blind fire, of course. Uh, usually not the best option, but, you know, there you go. It's our only option, really, when we're this low. Maybe one of the shot, please. Oh, he's reloading. Nice. Um, oh, it seemed like he's reloading. He reloaded that quick, didn't he? Oh, of course, he leans out a bit. Um, he's not dead yet, of course. I'm just zooming real quick. And in the side of the head, right in the temple. Now, I believe there's actually one more guy in here. There oh, two more guys. Wow, you cheeky fuckers. There we go. Fantastic. Now, I don't want a, a, a Gmail. I, I was about to say Gal again. I don't want a Gmail, but I also don't want a Sawn Off. Um, I guess we're going to have to stick with the Gmail. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, no problem there. Now, through here, we're going to encounter some more enemies. Of course, big guy. We need some more grenades. Oh, Unfortunately, guys. I don't have any. Here's where a shield might be Sorry, useful, Charlie. but honestly, can get pretty tricky because you have to keep swapping out for it. And uh, you can only use a secondary one in the shield because it, it takes over your primary. Which, of course, is a long-range weapon here, which, uh, yeah, we do. Oh, shit. I was trying to get into cover. It didn't work. Like I say, though, crushing mode, shot a few times. That's it. You're done. So, uh, I think it's a mixture of luck and skill. Of course, um, I'd like to think I have some skill here. Ah, uh, let me just cut straight through this, because we've, we've seen this bit before. Um, there we go. Like I say, sometimes it's just luck-based. Uh, can I shoot his little feet off? Um, oh, my God. That's close. Oh, thank you. Thank you for throwing me a grenade. Absolutely fantastic. Now, throw it at him. Hopefully, it blows up and kills him. Yep, kills him very easily. Now, uh, I actually do need him to throw more grenades at me. Fuck me, man. I need him to throw more... There we go. What a guy. He's actually doing it now. That's fantastic. I think that's a bit too far away, though. What are you doing, you fucking spoon? Right, hopefully, I can kill that guy. It bounced off his shield, of course. <laughs> it did. Now, um, I'm hoping for more grenades, please. Thank you. This is a really good guy here. I think it realised that I'm having a bit of trouble trying to actually get a grenade. Which is actually, he's actually really giving me uh, loads of grenades here, which is, which is nice. Of course, I don't want to die, though. I'm going to try and stay behind cover. But actually, no, we'll use the Gmail. Uh, might as well. Uh, come on. Oh, another grenade. What a guy. What a guy. Hopefully, this will kill him, though. And there we go. Ooh, right off the edge. Fantastic. Now, we don't need any more grenades, so hopefully I can uh, take this guy out. The focal range is uh, really strange here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fuck me. One more bullet and I'm dead. And my head's sticking up, so, uh, you know what? I could possibly die here. Oh, grenade. No, thank you. There we go. He's dead. Right, so, um, you know what? Just for this little area here, I am going to pull up the riot shield. <laughs> the riot shield. And that's only because, for one, I want to show, show you what it's like. God, if I could speak. I'm trying to speak and, like, concentrate really hard on a really difficult game that's um, kind of luck-based isn't the easiest thing. Of course, I would like an AK here, but... Oh, I want to show you because sometimes you can bash people like that, you know. It's uh, pretty interesting. You know what? Let's pull up the AK because these people are on stairs and uh, it's a little bit easier to take them out when they're on the stairs with a, with a rapid fire weapon such as this. With a right shield, not so much because obviously... Um, oh, he's actually died. Nice. Oh, shit. Like I say, with a right shield, not so much because obviously um, shit goes down uh, much quicker than you think and you'll die very quickly. You might think it's a good protection. Oh, shit. Let me go back real quick. I want to show you something. I need to burp as well. Uh, pardon me. Okay, what you can do, instead of using it like this, you can actually put it away and have it on your back. So it actually protects you from the back as well, which is really, really nice. However, uh, we don't really want that. Because like I say, it does protect you, but it's very slow and uh, it can break. And when it breaks, you get stunned slightly. Uh, okay, these guys are all dead. Thank God for that. You get stunned slightly and then you can get killed so much easier. Because once you're stunned, you're pretty much out in the open and you're going to die. So it's not very good. Anyway. Cutscene! No. Bastard! Shitting! Bastard! Uh, okay, okay. The bus. We're taking the bus. 
Well, that won't attract any attention. Morning. Not worth the price of admission, folks. Here we go. One, two, and a one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Right here. Get on. All right. I got this. You take care of him. Uh, here they come. Sully, get us out of here. Looks like we lost him. All right, I'll find some place to ditch the bus. Great. You doing all right? Oh, fabulous. <laughs> that was too close. He'll be okay. No, I mean the whole thing. It just isn't worth it, Nate. Let this one go. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't just give up. If you let these bastards win, after this, I will never bloody forgive you. Don't you worry, Charlie. There's no way I'm letting them win. What is it with you? What are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. Right. So it's a plan, kid. Uh, I guess I'm going to Yemen. You up for it? <laughs> of course I am. All right, we gotta find a quick way in. No hassles. I might know someone we could call. Who? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You got a better idea, I'm all ears. What about... No. Fine. Make the call. 